so the license wasn't cancelled. Um, th there was a refusal of the uh, initial application that we made in 2019, and we've uh, applied to the court to set aside uh, th that uh, decision. So the permit continues, and uh, we're just going to the court in, in relation to it. Now, we have a strong reason to do so, of course, because what you're seeing in the East Coast is there is a gas crisis. Prices have gone to uh, $380. Mm -hmm. uh, businesses are threatened. And there is an acute need for uh, more gas to come from the East Coast. And it's just not in the system at the moment. So there is an, an, a compelling logic to proceed. Ours is a gas project. Uh, it's a gas basin. Uh, we have drilled safely in the past and we can continue to do so. It's crucially important for the economy of New South Wales and the East Coast that there is more gas brought into the system. So so do you think that this issue um, was just politicised um, for the elections? So um, e energy has been a... Uh, a political commentary, a, a political uh, issue for uh, over the last 10 years, and the press uh, certainly have adequate commentary. I don't need to uh, comment further on that mm. except to say for the consumers and the customers of gas uh, and the business, business operators and the employees of those business, This is a crisis and it shouldn't be occurring and it's occurred as a result of, uh, of uh, uh, a lack of decision-making and initiatives for an extended period of time. So how is it possible? Because obviously we have um, with NOPSIMA um, and NOPTA, I guess, two independent um, regulators. So how could the, um, the government circumvent that process? Uh, so it's the joint authority that makes a recommendation as a result of uh, what uh, NOPTA has recommended and the court process will in due course determine uh, and expand on and provide the details of exactly what occurred with NOPTA and the uh, joint authority parties. Beyond that, I won't comment at the moment, except to say that, it, that uh, obviously, if you have inadequate sources of gas, then everyone suffers, and that includes Central Coast customers and employees and people in the Hunter right through New South Wales. There's 300,000 people that rely directly or indirectly on uh, gas as an input, And uh, this gas crisis has been uh, years in the making, and now it's in front of us. So, so how does it work in terms of the timeframes? I guess um, is that going to be a now a lengthy year-long um, court case, or how do how does it work in terms of? So, is that uh, what's the process like? Uh, so, uh, uh, we don't have a a time frame on the court process at the moment. Uh, because we, whilst we've lodged the initial documents with the court, we haven't. There's a process with that court, and and they will go through that process. Okay, so obviously, uh, even the um, the Labor government has spoken out against this project. Um, do so, you don't, you can't probably expect much of the political support. Um, I won't comment on the. Uh, the, the uh, Labor Party uh, processes, except to say that uh, the incoming resource minister has said that, in fact, the Labor Party supports gas mm -hmm. uh, and, and needs to see more gas into the, uh, the East Coast market. And obviously, whilst... There's no direct comment on our project. PEP 11 is a potential solution to that in, in itself. So PEP 11 isn't dead at the moment, so it's still going. And yes. You have, and you have um, 
um, you, you're confident and able to 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 get this project um, off the ground and 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 uh, fulfill the I guess obviously a lot of investors. Um, promise, I guess, as well, right? In terms of allowing this project to go ahead, so you don't see any reasons for it not to be able to go ahead. On the logic of the need for gas and the acute crisis that's occurring in the gas supply network, there are compelling reasons to proceed with the project at the moment. So, do you need to reapply, um, or would it um, for a new permit, or just for an extension? Or how would the process work in that sense? So uh, we have an application uh, before the court and the permit still exists and is uh, operational. Okay. Okay. It's not appropriate for me to comment, of course, mm -hmm. on court proceedings as sure. such. Sure. I guess it was just for us to kind of get an understanding. So it's in front of the federal court or? Uh, yes, it's in front of the federal court. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the court documents, of course, will speak for themselves. Yeah. Is, um, so are they up available to the public or um, not as, as, as at the moment or that submission? They may be available to the public. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much um, um, for, for just getting a bit of clarity.